Hi, this is Jeff, and welcome to Skill Builders, where we help you learn new things one skill at a time. Today, we're going to be working in Microsoft PowerPoint, and we're going to be working with shapes. Shapes allow you to create graphics that look professional, but you don't have to be a graphic designer to look good. Microsoft has got a lot of things that are built in that will help you create dynamic looking shapes easily. So let's get started. To begin with, let's go to the insert menu and let's click on shapes and it'll bring us the drop down menu which allows us to look at all the shapes that they have pre-built for us. And today we're just going to pick something simple like a diamond and once I select the shape I want it gives me the crosshairs on the screen. So now I hold down my left mouse button and I will drag diagonally to create my diamond and there I go. Now I can begin to manipulate my shape. From there I can do a couple of things. The first thing I'll look at is, is the shape the right size? If it's not, I can take my cursor and place it over one of the handles. If I put it on this one, I have the diagonal handle, which allows me to manipulate it both horizontally and vertically at the same time. If I put it on the one at the side, that allows me to manipulate the width of it. If I go to the top, then I can manipulate the height. So I have those two options. The last option I have is to grab the little green handle up on top that allows me to twist it or rotate it from side to side whichever way I like and we'll just leave it up on top for now to see how that goes. All right now the next thing we can do is let's begin to format our shape and you'll notice up on top with our shape selected we now have the drawing tools format tab available to us. From there we'll select format and let's start with the shape styles. We'll pull that menu down and it gives us a whole range of options to choose from. And again, one of the things that I like about Microsoft that they've done is they've allowed me to preview all of these different options without actually affecting my shape to begin with. So let's pick one and I like the red one, kind of red's my favorite color, so we're going to go with that. Now I've got the shape that I like, I've got the color that I like, let's begin to play with it. And I can play with the, the content of the shape by clicking the shape fill button. When I go from the shape fill button, it brings me another drop down menu that gives me some things to look at. I can choose picture, so I can insert a picture onto my shape. I can choose gradient, which allows me to change the gradient that's in there, or I can add a texture, and my box is in the way so you can't see it very well, but I have all these different textures that I can add. Let's put a nice little granite texture to my shape. So there is a granite texture on my shape. Now, the shape outline allows me to control how thick of a border I put around my shape. If I wanted to see my outline, I'd go back to my shape styles and I would pick an outline and then go back to the shape outline, wait, and select the six point, and now you'll notice how thick the border is on my shape. But I don't like that. I like the three-dimensional look, so we'll go back here. We'll go back to there and put it back to where it was. Now. From the shape effects menu, I have all these different choices. I can put a shadow, I can do reflections, glow, soft edges, bevel, and 3D rotation. So let's look at the shadow option first. With shadow, I have all these presets to use. So let's just pick one, and you'll notice that my shape is there with the shadow on the bottom right, but I can't see it very well. Now, to put that shadow where I can see it, I have, I have to go back to the shape effects menu back to the shadow and now this time I have to go all the way down to the bottom to where it says shadow options and from there I get this dialog box and with that dialog box I can now affect the distance that my shadow is from my shape just by dragging that slider. If I want to get a little more precise I can just use the, the little up or down arrow there and do it a little more precisely. The other thing I can do is I can affect the angle by dragging this slider which puts, moves the shadow around the shape for me so I can put it wherever I like and let's put it right straight below it so now it looks like my shape is coming right off the page. And the last thing is the transparency. With transparency I can affect the shading of the shadow. So let's pick a shade that looks good right there and now I'll close it and we are good. So now I have a 3D shape floating above my, my PowerPoint slide and again I can move it wherever I like and it looks pretty cool. All right, so the last thing we'll talk about is how to do a 3D shape or a 3D effect on your shape. So I go back to my shape effects menu, go to 3D rotation, and now I can 
scroll through those presets and you'll notice how each one of those 3D presets affects the way my shape lays on the page. Some of it makes it easier to see, some of it makes it harder to see. Now, if I, and let's say I choose this preset, but it's not quite like how I would like it to be. I can modify it manually by going again to the 3D rotation dialog box, and then down at the bottom, I have the 3D rotation options. Brings up my nice little dialog box. The x-axis is my horizontal axis, so if I select this, you'll notice how it moves it left and right. If I, my y-axis is my vertical axis, so it moves it up and down. And then my z-axis is my rotation around center, so I can move my box however I would like it to be. And so now let's leave it right there, that looks pretty good. So with that, I now have a professional looking shape that is customized, the shadow is customized, the rotation of my shape is customized, so it looks just like I want, so now I can move it wherever I would like and I'm ready to go forward. I'm Jeff and this has been Skill Builders. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other Skill Builder series, or if you'd like a more in-depth look at the Microsoft Office products, go to our website, cetrain.isu.edu, and check out one of the other classes that we offer on a regular basis. Until next time, keep learning.